Humans have always wanted to explore space. We're fascinated by the unknown. So explorers thought, why not start with the moon? Exploration of space, and subsequently the moon, began on October 4, 1957, when the Soviet Union successfully launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite into orbit. In response to Sputnik, the United States created the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, on July 29, 1958, to coordinate and advance American space efforts. NASA's first human spaceflight program aimed to put a man into Earth orbit and return him safely. Initiated by NASA in the 1960s, the Apollo program aimed to land humans on the moon and bring them safely back to Earth. It was driven by the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy set a bold goal for the nation, to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth before the end of the decade. The Apollo 11 mission became the first manned mission to land on the moon. Apollo 11 was launched by a Saturn V rocket from Kennedy Space Center in Florida on July 16, 1969. Apollo 11 had a three-man crew, Neil Armstrong, the mission commander, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, the lunar module pilot, Michael Collins, the command module pilot. After reaching Earth orbit, the spacecraft was propelled towards the moon. This phase of the mission took about three days. Upon reaching the moon, the spacecraft entered lunar orbit. On July 20, 1969, the lunar module called Eagle separated from the command module called Columbia. Armstrong and Aldrin descended towards the moon's surface. They landed in an area known as the Sea of Tranquility. As the lunar module touched down, Armstrong reported, Houston, Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. A few hours after landing, Neil Armstrong exited the lunar module and became the first human to walk on the moon. As he stepped onto the lunar surface, he famously said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Buzz Aldrin joined him shortly after. Together, they spent about two and a half hours exploring the surface, collecting samples, and conducting experiments. Michael Collins orbited the moon alone while Armstrong and Aldrin were on the surface. After their historic moonwalk, Armstrong and Aldrin returned to the lunar module. They then rejoined Michael Collins in the command module. The spacecraft left lunar orbit and began the journey back to Earth. Apollo 11 splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on July 24, 1969, where the crew was safely recovered by the USS Hornet, a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier. The Apollo 11 mission was a monumental achievement in human history. It demonstrated the possibilities of human space exploration and showcased the ingenuity, determination, and collaboration required for such an endeavor. In addition to human missions, robotic spacecraft and rovers have also explored the moon. These missions help scientists gather important information about the moon's composition, geology, and environment. For example, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, has been mapping the moon's surface since 2009, providing detailed images and data. Exploring the moon is important for several reasons. It helps scientists understand the history and formation of our solar system. The moon also serves as a testing ground for new technologies that could be used in future missions to other planets, such as Mars. Additionally, the moon's resources, like water ice, could be valuable for sustaining future human colonies in space. Future of Moon Exploration NASA's Artemis program aims to return astronauts to the moon by 2024, including the first woman and the next man. These missions will pave the way for long-term lunar exploration and the possibility of establishing a sustainable human presence on the moon. By studying and exploring space and the moon, we continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge and inspire future generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers.